फर्स्ट जनरेशन से फेलोस्पोरेंस दीज इंक्लूड सीफा जोलिन सीफा ड्रॉक्सिल सीफा लैगजिन सीफा लोथिन एंड सीफा लोरीडिन दीज आर फर्स्ट जनरेशन से फेलोस्पोरेंस then second generation cephalosporins include cefuroxine cefaclor cefoxetin cefmetazole cefotitan then third generation cephalosporins these include drugs like cefexim सेफ्टाजिडिम सेफ्टी जॉगजाइम सेफ पोडोगजाइम सेफ ट्रायोगजोन सीफोपिराजोन सेफ्टी ब्यूटेन and moxalactam these are third generation cephalosporins keep writing without thinking the fourth generation these include cefepine and cefepiron and the fifth generation include safti viprol and safta rolin now we will come to important thing that all of these almost all of these they start from self so when they are starting from self it is not possible to remember which drug belong to which generation so how to remember now to remember you can see them carefully if you see that after self if a is present that means the drug is starting with the cfa drugs which are starting with the cfa are first generation because we know a is the first letter a is the first letter so any drug which start with the cfa is first generation but with one exception only it is cfa clor cfa clor start with the cfa but it is second generation all other cfa are first generation you can see no other drug start with cfa so only one start with cfa that is not first generation it is cfa clor all other cfa are first generation so you need to follow a rule what is the rule we will follow that first we will see whether the name start with cfa or not if it is starting with cfa it is first generation one exception we have already kept in mind if it is starting with cfa it is first generation if it is not cfa it is not first generation now after seeing for this if the name do not start with a cfa that means first is out then we will see that whether the name contain pi or not if the name contain pi means they will be fourth generation Remember, fourth generation contain pi in the name. So the second rule is to see at pi. If the pi is present, it is fourth generation. Then if pi is also not present, then we will see whether the name contain roll or not roll. If the roll is present, it will be fifth generation. Remember, roll present here, roll present here. So it will be fifth generation. If roll is also not present, if roll is also not present. then we will see how the name is ending if the name end with me 1 or 10 if the name end with me 1 or 10 it will be third generation you can see cefexim end with me ceftazidim is me ceftazoxime is me cefpodoxime is me me or 1 ceftrioxone cefopirazone they are ending with 1 and ceftibutan ending with 10 so me 1 10 remember again only one exception it is cefuroxime cefuroxime end with me but it is not a third generation it is second generation all other drugs ending with me are third generation
बट अगेन बी वेरी केयरफुल सेफ ए पाइम एंड सेफ पिरोम ऑल्सो एंड विद मी बट ऑलरेडी दे कंटेन पाई विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन दी फोर्थ जनरेशन सो सी दिस सीक्वेंस इफ इट इज सीफा इट इज फर्स्ट जनरेशन वन एक्सेप्शन सीफा क्लो If C5 is not there, then C pi is present. If pi is present, fourth generation. If not present, C roll. If roll present, fifth generation. If not present, C. If it is ending with me one ten. If it is ending with me one ten, it will be third generation. One exception, C four oxide. Okay, and all remaining will be the second generation. So it is third generation. All remaining will be the second generation. Okay, so only one exception that you can find from the name only Moxa lactam. Do not start with the Cepha. So it is the third generation. Moxa lactam is a totally different third generation Cephalosporin. So I hope you can remember this.